Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any Rocket League items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be telling you how you can make thousands of credits profit a day in Rocket League. But just before we do, I'd like to mention we are giving away a White Octane over on the Discord server. Every 1,000 subscribers on the channel. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. It is free and it really does help me out. Also, we currently have a White Octane giveaway already. Massive shout out to Screet Killer for helping me set this one up. But all you have to do is join the Discord, head over to the giveaways channel. Join Screet Killer's Discord server as well and then just make sure to enter the giveaway. Way. But anyway, that'll do for the intro. Now I'm going to be telling you how you can make the most amount of profit possible in Rocket League trading. Okay, so there are a couple methods that I use every single day and I obviously get thousands of credits profit because right now, if you don't already know, I'm doing a trading series where I trade up from nothing all the way up to the alpha cap and my inventory is almost worth 190,000 credits and we started off with zero credits, nothing in the inventory. So you can trust me, I know what I'm talking about and the first method I'm going to be talking about is flipping high demand items. So to simplify the that means items that are in high demand a lot of people are looking for them and therefore if you do buy them for below their minimum values they'll be really easy to sell on because of this high demand this includes items such as painted octanes painted standards painted phoenix and i'm not going to run through every single item because there are tons of high demand items in rocket league but the more you trade the more you'll learn the items that have this high demand but when you first start off i'd highly suggest painted octanes because they're one of the most highly demanded items in the entire game and also phoenix unpainted phoenix have an extremely high demand and i've made a ton of profit under paying 100 credits for an unpainted phoenix and then selling it on about five minutes later for its minimum value and boom I've got 100 credits profit. Now, I know 100 credits isn't a massive inventory, so you will need to repeat these steps over and over and over again. It might get a little bit boring, but if you're really dedicated to trading, you can do these methods all day long and get yourself thousands of credits profit, like the title suggests. Now, the first step to buying these items is finding the people with the items. Now, there are a few ways to find people, and the main way that I would suggest is Xbox looking for group posts. Now, this is only exclusive to Xbox, like the name suggests, but there is a massive, massive community on the Xbox looking for group section, and uh, there's people selling, buying items all the time. You can make your own posts, look through posts, and it's just a really good place to trade. Now, if you don't have an Xbox, you can use other methods such as R garage which is a website you can search it up on safari google any search engine it will come up but it is also an app that you can download on your phone uh, you might be able to download it on pc as well i'm not too sure it might just be a website on there but you can download it on your phone make posts and again search through posts like the xbox community section however i believe the xbox community section is a little bit better for xbox users it's more personalized to xbox and also i believe there is a bigger platform on there than rl garage because of how easy it is to access you've also got rl trading post again any platform can access this it is only an app it's not a website but uh, it's really good again for making and finding posts and uh, it just allows you to trade a lot more easily basically you just want to find communities so that you can trade and after that you can then focus on the certain items that you want to buy but the main step is actually getting yourself into a community so that you can find people to trade with so after you've gotten yourself into a community, you need to make some posts. So if you're on RL Garage or RL Trading Post, what I would suggest is listing up a ton of posts looking for a range of items. Maybe the high demand items that I mentioned earlier, Octanes, Phoenix, Standards, White Zombas, White Phoenix, those sort of items which have a really high demand. Maybe just list up a bunch of posts with corresponding prices that you're willing to pay. The more items that you look for, the better because obviously it gives you a wider range of audience that you can actually reach and therefore more profit that you can make make uh, the only thing is it is a little bit annoying to make these posts because it takes a bit of time but once you've got all of these posts up you can just refresh them every 10 minutes or so on rl trading post every 15 minutes on rl garage and uh, boom if you'll hopefully draw some people in buy those items and then again the way to sell them you can do the same thing just list up all of the items you've got on rl garage and rl trading post and hopefully people will come to you now usually i would list my items up looking for the minimum value for them so what i do is buy for around 100 credits below their minimum 
value and then sell for their minimum value just because the market isn't too great right now not too many people are paying anything more than their minimum values for items uh, if they really want the item then yeah they might be inclined to pay a little bit more but most people won't go above minimum values for items and also it saves you a lot of time because if you're looking for more credits people will just go to a different seller and buy it for cheaper now another post you could make is offering credits for items so for example if you're on xbox make a post saying have 10,000 credits one offer or you could obviously swap that credit amount for any amount of credits that you have i say 10,000 because i'm capped at 10,000 credits so even though i've got over a hundred thousand credits i can't trade any more than that in a trade so i just put 10,000 in the post my exact post is have 10,000 credits one offer and then i also ask people to message their offer on my post just so that i'm not wasting time messaging them and asking for their offer because realistically a lot of people are just offering a bunch of crap so i only want to target specific people that have items that i'm actually looking for it saves a lot of time again time is very important it is something that i will mention over and over and over again but you just want to be messaging people with items that you want so for example a lot of people message items such as white fennec white zombas uh, blackstone black oem i'll be interested in those people because i've had the item before and i know i can buy it for quite cheap and flip it for a lot of profit so i'll message these people I'll say hey how much do you want for this certain item they'll shoot me back a price usually it's the middle or the minimum value and then i slowly start to work them down and the first thing i usually do is lowball a lot on my first offer now a lot of people don't like me telling other traders to do this because it does annoy a lot of people receiving a very bad offer for their item but what i will do is send a bad offer for my first offer and then slowly work it up to make it seem a little bit better um a lot of people don't like uh, people doing this and i have been blocked by a few people in the past they basically just say lol no way i'm going that low but um i will slowly work up my offer so it seems a little bit better and another thing i say is hey the market is pretty dead right now can you go any lower because a lot of people do actually relate to me and they say you know what yeah i am struggling to sell this item so some of them then quick sell the item to me because uh, they know that I know that they're struggling if that makes sense if you have any questions Let me know down in the comments down below But these are the methods that I use and it clearly works for me because I've made a ton of profit now Another method that I use is buying low demand items for way below their minimum value, such as maybe painted dice, painted tunicas, painted sunbursts, all of those are wheels, but they have a very, very low demand. And you might have seen, if you watch my series, I'm always underpaying for these items, or I say I'm always underpaying. I underpay uh, quite often for these items because they make me a ton of profit. Now, of course, there are more low demand items in the game. To be honest, most items are low demand, but I've noticed that dices make me a ton of profit. So if anybody messages you saying they have painted to dices be interested and lowball on your first offer slowly work it up but when i'm buying painted dices i'm usually underpaying by around 500 to 1000 credits and they will sit in my inventory for ages because they have a low demand not many people are looking for them but eventually i'll get them sold and i will get a ton of profit so this is a method for more advanced traders with a bigger inventory because it will probably drain you uh, just being stuck with one item over and over and if you have a small inventory do not do this method because if you're spending all of your credits on one low demand item you won't be making any profit until you get that item sold so it's just not a method i'd suggest for um people with a low inventory value but if you've got an inventory value above maybe 5,000 credits so not even that much to be honest but uh, if you are more experienced it's definitely a method that you should do now of course i don't just use this method when trading i do like to use a mix of both this and also buying high demand items for a little bit below their minimum value flip uh, flipping them quickly and getting around 100 credits profit uh, if you mix up your methods it will make trading a lot more interesting because as i mentioned earlier just buying high demand items selling them really quickly and getting a little bit of profit doing that over and over and over again will get a bit boring so i like to switch it up because you're trading to have fun you do not want to get bored um but yeah let me know if you do have any questions once again also if you would like to know what items are high demand there are a few ways to find this out first of all you can search up on rl garage or rl trade and post a certain item see roughly how many people are looking for this one item so for example if you search up a painted octane there'll be a ton of people looking for it so that you know it has a high demand but if you search up a random rocket pass limited um i literally can't think of any but if you if you just type in any random rocket uh, pass item then there will be better 
barely anyone looking for it so that you know it has a very low demand. You can also look on RL Insider and there is a trending bar at the, uh, at the top that will show you what the most searched items are. And again, this shows you what items have a high demand. This is a little bit of a grey area though because some items are just there to sort of track the price. For example, the White Octane has always been there because it is a very popular item. But I wouldn't say it's got an extremely high demand right now because the price is a little bit shaky. Also, some other items such as Beta Nugget, again, not a massive demand for for it but it is one of the alpha items so a lot of people search it up so you've got to be careful with this but a lot of the items such as painted octanes dissolver mainframe jewel and dragons will all have a very high demand but anyway i hope this video has helped you out let me know if it has down below drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you in the next one peace out